Hey guys, Bjergsen here, uh, coming to you guys with a vlog straight from Seoul, Korea. Uh, I think we arrived here maybe three or four days ago, and we started just getting into scrims and practice right away. We're in the same kind of area hotel that we were last time, so for me that makes everything a lot easier because I know where all the food places are, I kind of know how to get around and how to take care of myself, so I can spend more time focusing on the game and practice, so yeah, I really like it here. This boot camp does feel a little bit different than last time because we're in an area that we're familiar with and we're also not here to like kind of test our skill and try out a new support. Last time we were here we were trying out Biofrost and we were also playing with different supports like Ignar to try to figure out what would be the best for our team. So it was more so about, you know, finding a fit for our team but now it's about being the best team we can be for Worlds. So I think everyone's coming in with much higher focus than last time and we're a lot more focused around constantly improving and also winning. So. Um, yeah, for me, it's just, I really like Korea. I think, I don't know, I talk to my teammates and they do like Korea, but I'm just super excited to be here because the solar queue is great, the food is great. There's nothing to really dislike for me. Uh, every time I come here, it's been a ton of fun, and I feel like I improve really fast playing Korean solar queue because it's, it's a lot more like scrims, and um, it feels good being able to get proper practice outside of scrims. I think the main differences between like Korean solo queue and NA solo queue is in Korea everyone kind of has a grasp of how to play the game at a macro level or a strategic level, whereas in NA I think a lot of kind of high elos play just like one champion and they're really good at laning and their mechanics, but they don't really understand that you know like towers and dragons win games and how to group. So even though you're behind in Korean solo queue, most games are decided off of like team fighting or a big fight around Baron, which is a lot more like a competitive game. But in NA when you fall behind everyone just kind of sits in their lanes and dies and you're slowly losing the game, so I feel like even when we're behind in these Korean solo queue games, I feel like there's always a chance to get back and it makes the game a lot more fun to play as well. I mean, the, the draw is coming up, but I can't really think of a certain group that I would like to face. Obviously, I prefer not to face like the best teams from every single region in the groups. I'd rather face them later, but um, at least I would like the chance to scrim against the top teams from each region to see how we kind of face up against them and it also kind of gives you a confidence level going in if you do really well in these scrims. Even though scrims don't mean everything, it's still kind of like we can still compete with these best teams. And since we're first seed, I think we're going to have a bit of an easier group generally than maybe the lower seed NA teams. So uh, it's going to make us feel a lot more confident going into quarters and semis if we make it out of groups. I think also this patch is pretty exciting because I don't know if Riot just does this like purposely before Worlds, but they finally started nerfing like the OP champions that have been played a lot, like Rek'Sai, Gnar, and for mid lane it was like Tally of Vlad, so I think in terms of worlds that's going to mean a lot more diversity and maybe different teams are going to be playing different stuff because the meta is like all flushed out and you have to start from the beginning. But yeah, I like that Riot kind of nerfs the OP champions or the champions that you see picked or banned every single game, so that'll make worlds a lot more fun. For this boot camp, uh, even though we haven't been here for very long, it still feels like it's going to be a lot more productive than any previous boot camp that I've had. Uh, I think the most productive was the very first boot camp that I had because we had fairly good scrims in the beginning and then when we were losing, even though there was a lot of kind of friction, it was still towards the growth of the team and it still felt like even though we were going through some hardships, it was ultimately to improve the team. But the previous two boot camps that I had, I think with the season five roster, there was a lot of frustrations, but we didn't really kind of overcome them and improve. and. Uh, everyone felt really isolated because we're in a country where, you know, we can't really speak the language. It's kind of hard for us to get around. And when you're also doing really bad in scrims, it feels like everything's kind of falling apart. But I know with this roster, uh, even if we end up doing really bad in scrims or, you know, everyone gets really stressed out, uh, I feel like everyone here is mentally tough enough to kind of suck it up and just do our best for worlds.